Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, November 22nd, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a painting here by William Turner. This is The Angel Standing in the Sun. It is from 1840. It can be found in London at the Tate Gallery. These celestial beings, these literally the word in both the Hebrew and the Greek is messenger. Those who carry the messages of God, these celestial beings, are found all over the scripture from the very beginning to the very end, and especially at the most cosmic moments. The Garden of Eden, the Book of Revelation, the Resurrection. They are always there. If you remember in the story of the Garden of Eden, at the end when Adam and Eve are cast out, there is an angel that stands at the gates of the Garden of Eden with a fiery sword. So huge boundary saying, don't come back this way. This is not the way back. And then we journey on through the scripture to the very end where today in the book of Revelation, we are invited to see this vision of heaven in which there are 12 gates uh, to the holy city of Jerusalem, the redeemed city. And at those 12 gates, there are in fact 12 angels, but this time they are welcoming us in. So these fiery angels are there at the beginning to say, don't come back this way. And then at the end to say, come inside. They are our guides. Have you ever had someone say the exact right thing at the right moment? Have you ever had a thought so pure and good that you thought it might come from somewhere else? Have you ever been inspired by beautiful music or a painting. Angels carry messages and they can come in the form of human beings. They can come in the form of thoughts or inspiration. They're mysterious, but ever present in our lives, interceding for us. The book of Revelation, of course, has fallen angels like Satan, but it also has these celestial beings that well, they're like heavenly tour guides helping us find the way. Come this way, they say. Come closer. Come inside. Standing on the threshold between our physical reality and the, the evermore, they beckon us closer. Look for them today. As the holidays approach, I don't know, our hearts open a little more. Perhaps he'll catch a glimpse of one. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, make us ever mindful of the presence of angels in our lives. Open our eyes and hearts to the messages that come from you and all the variety of ways that you send them. We ask you to give us peace all over this world, particularly in the areas torn by war. We ask you to comfort those who've suffered violence or lost loved ones. We ask you to heal the sick, mend the hearts of those who grieve and mourn. We ask you to be with those who struggle with mental illness or addiction of any kind. Bless those who travel, bless the families that gather and those who find themselves alone. Give us work to do today, Lord, to do your work in this world, to be filled with your purpose. Help us to understand what it is that lies before us in our daily lives, no more, no less and help us ever to give thanks to you as we approach this Thanksgiving day 
for your gift of life itself is greater than anything we could ever imagine. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who listened to the angels. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.